Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Bitcoin, WhatsApp, any type of cryptocurrency that you see in my comments, please know that is not me. It is a scammer and please do not click on anything. If you didn't see my videos yesterday, I had two videos yesterday. Please go back and watch them. We the People, if you want your comments put on the We the People website, please start it by saying We the People and we will take your comments over there for you. Be sure and check out the We the People website and the We the People Facebook group. Both links is in the description box below this video. Okay, y'all. The uh, we, we do have some good news today. Uh, we got some good news and we got some funny news. So the uh, stimulus package is getting very close to getting where it can be passed. Right now it's almost impossible for it to be passed, but, but it's getting very close. We got some good news about that today. So be sure and watch the, the entire video so you don't miss anything. Okay, I'm going to give you the funny news first because we need some funny news. Joe Biden has said in an interview that he is the most popular president in U.S. history and people loves him. He then went on to say that the fact that he was on the ticket may be the reason Barack Obama was elected president. Now to this I would say to Joe Biden's handlers. They need to give him his medicine real fast because he's he's slipping bad now. He needs his medication. And I would say to little Joe, little Joe, the hooker down on the corner of the street, she's real popular too. But even she is smart enough to know her popularity is not a good thing. Yours is not a good thing either, Joe. Okay, I do have one little piece of bad news for you, and then I will get on to the good news. I have some very bad news for you. I am sorry to have to bring this to you, but it's, it's the world we're living in, right? Dr. Fauci has said because of COVID-19, the American people will not be able to celebrate Christmas this year. He's calling Christmas off. Oh, but wait. Two hours after he said that, he changed his mind. And he said, yes, it is okay to celebrate Christmas this year. Sounds like the little doctor that stole Christmas to me. And just who in the hell does he think he is telling me I can't celebrate Christmas? Now, a lot of people won't be able to celebrate with gifts but just being together with your family is celebration, right? Christmas is not about the gifts anyway. It's about the gift that we have in heaven. Okay, now to the good news. We are moving very close to getting this bill passed. We're gonna break down all of this stuff. Joe Biden and many progressives are now saying that getting this next stimulus bill passed is more important than the dollar amount. So getting this bill passed is what needs to happen now. Right now it looks like this 3.5 trillion dollar bill will come down to around 1.9 and 2.2 trillion dollars. The Democrats still think that they can they can get this bill passed and paid for by taxing large corporations. Now y'all, this is just my opinion on this whole tax situation. But to me it would make a whole lot more sense not to raise the taxes on these big corporations because when they do raise the taxes on them they're going to just pass it on to us, the consumers. 
So what I would think would be more smart would leave the tax rate where it's at. Just close up all them loopholes that they're getting through and make them pay taxes on every dollar they make. That would make far more sense to me and it wouldn't raise taxes any. And it wouldn't raise the prices at the cash register as much. It still will raise the prices, but not as much as closing the loopholes and raising taxes. So it, it would be a win-win situation in the long run. But of course, that makes sense, so our government won't do it. Joe Biden said passing this spending bill is like helping America rise up. But my question is, how can you rise up if you're deep in debt? And that's what their worthless, frivolous spending will do. They will get us deeper in debt because we're not deep enough in debt as it is. Now, I agree, we do need to spend money right now in order to help people generate some tax revenue. We do need to spend some money. But we need to spend this money on the American people and not their pet projects and their shopping list. We need to dump everything that's in those bills and just focus on giving money to the American people to create more tax revenue. That would bring the United States economy up. We don't need all of these pet projects that they're wanting to do that's going to help us in 10 years. 10 years down the road before we see any help. We need help right now. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't need help right now the vast majority of the American people does need help right now. Joe Manchin has hinted to the idea that he could support a bill around $2 trillion. You know, he's always been hard-nosed about $1.5 trillion. Well, he's softening up on that now, and it's, it looks like he would be open to a $2 trillion bill. Now that is $500 billion more than what he said just last week. So, are they offering Manchin's wife $500 billion like they did last time? Y'all, just to be fair, I have not heard anything on that. I don't know if they're offering his wife anything or not. It's just me thinking out loud. So... Don't say that Walter said that they gave Manchin's wife $500 billion. I don't know that to be fact, but I'm just thinking. We still don't know where Christian Cinema stands on this $2 trillion. She has not said anything yet. But she has also been back-to-back -back with Joe Manchin in saying that $1.5 trillion, trillion is not negotiable. Well, we know... Joe Manchin is softening up a little bit now, so maybe Cinema will follow suit and go with him on this. You know, I can't help but think about how arrogant Joe Manchin and Christian Cinema must be. To think that they're they're just two people. To think to think that they're opinions means more than what the American people's opinion means. Their opinion means more than the rest of Congress means. Their opinion means more than the president means. Who are they? Why are they so arrogant? Those are the two that's standing in the way of everything. Why can't they just think, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll step aside and let the majority rule. But that's how arrogant people think. Okay, y'all, I got one more thing I want to cover with y'all. I want to clear this up right now before it gets out of hand.
You know, I've always told you that I believe we will be getting a forced stimulus check. I have always said 125% of me believes we'll get a stimulus check. I have never told you definitely, yes, a stimulus check is coming. Yes, we're getting a stimulus check. Now, if you want that kind of reporting, there's a lot of, re there's a lot of channels that does that, but I will not do that because I can't do that. I'm just giving you my opinion. I'm just like every other human that walks the face of the earth. I have an opinion. And since I have a channel, I have a platform to talk on, I'm going to give you my opinion. Now, for the ones that don't want my opinion, start your own channel. It's that, it's that easy. I have never once said, guaranteed we're getting a stimulus check. It's just my opinion that we will get one to a very small group of people. And will it be $2,000? I don't know probably not the same thing goes for my opinion on the raise for Social Security I've always said in my opinion you're going to get that raise in your Social Security check I've never said it's set in stone in fact I tell you every time that it is not set in stone stimulus checks are not on the table nothing is set in stone they're not even talking about it it's just my opinion So when people hear my video and misconstrues what I say and only hears what they want to hear, to them people, I would say, go away, please. I don't want you here. Or, or watch the video again and try to understand. I am not saying 100% guaranteed we're getting a stimulus check. Again, you can drink the purple Kool-Aid. You can watch the five or six videos a day. If that's what you want but you're not getting the truth there here you will get the truth I have always told you that there's only a handful of channels here that I trust and that would be David over at the TEC show Brian at Clearview tax and Stephen Gardner and myself any others that you could mention no I do not trust them I've seen them all and I don't trust them these are the only four channels that I trust. Y'all, please subscribe to my channel. Leave your thumbs up. Leave your comments. Be sure and put We The People if you want it over on the website. Check out the website and the Facebook group. Both links are in the description box below. And until next time, keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all of this. I don't think it's going to be much longer. Things are going to start turning around pretty fast. Y'all say a prayer for our world, say a prayer for our country, say a prayer for our leaders, say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction, and just know I love you all. Until next time, ciao.